this is example of the examination problem from the previous year. Of course, this is my example, my problem. Now, the problem is you have hexagon rod. You have a rod which is not circular. It is hexagon. Okay? It is somehow protruded from the wall. The wall temperature is T1. The air outside is T0. If T1 is greater than T0, okay, the temperature of the rod is supposed to be higher than T0 as well. So therefore, there will be heat transfer from the rod to the ambient air. So there will be heat transfer out. Okay. The rod that is nearer to the wall is supposed to be hotter than the end of the rod. So that means temperature difference in this area is greater than temperature difference around this area. So heat flux may not be equal. But you can assume the heat flux by either conduction or convection outside here by using Newton law cooling. Okay? So amount of heat transfer out can be calculated based on Newton law cooling. Q would equal to H A delta T. You are asked to use shell balance to find temperature profile within the rod. Okay? The first question would be what kind of coordinate you are going to use. Do you think you should use rectangular, cylindrical, or spherical? I don't think anybody would use spherical, right? So whether this problem is cylindrical coordinate problems or rectangular. Which one would be easier? Anybody here would use rectangular? Cylindrical? What about the others? Any others answer? Unknown, do not know yet, or next problem. <laughs> the correct answer for this particular problem would be either. You can use either one, doesn't matter. Either cylindrical or rectangular would be fine as long as you can assume the crucial thing. What would be the most important assumption you need to make? Let's see, Let, let's, let's suppose I ask you to list all the assumptions you need to make for this particular calculation. What kind of assumption you need to make? Suppose I give you five points for that. Five out of 40. And assumption that you state should not be the one that is already given by the problem statement. So assumption like steady state, you don't need to write it down any other assumption that you make to that you need to make
or let's let's start like this is this problem hard whether or not it's hard you need to analyze the heat transfer in our system here what is our system what is the system is the system the solid rod or the air outside what is it it's solid rod right the system is solid rod okay is there any convection no there is no convection in solid rod is there any conduction yes there will be conduction so suppose I give direction here to be Z and direction here may be uh, X or Y let's say X okay is there any conduction in Z yes. yes is there any conduction in X yes. is, prob is this problem easy If you look in the detail, okay, definitely there will be conduction in Z, right? What about in X direction? Is there any conduction in your system? If you think there will be conduction in X, it means that temperature here and temperature there should be different, right? Is it different? Can it assume to be constant? If the rod is small, if diameter of the rod is small, or if the rod is made from very highly conductive material, what would happen? If the rod is small by itself, can you assume that temperature in the cross-section area is uniform? Can you do that? Yes. If you assume uniform temperature across the cross-section area, do we have conduction in X? No. In that case, you will have only one dimensional heat transfer which is conduction only right just look into the system if you assume that the temperature across the surface across the cross-section area here is constant okay then there will be no conduction in X the conduction would be in C only okay in that case what does the shell look like it would be hexagon piece right with the thickness here to be delta Z right so if you look from the side there will be flux going in flux going out flux here would be EZ right this one would be Z at Z plus delta Z. Is there any other flux?
What about that? What about the heat here? How can we incorporate this into our balance? Do you think that we have heat going out in this direction as well? Yes? May I ask you this? If we assume that temperature in this cross-section area is constant, that means T here, suppose this is T, this is T as well, okay? If this temperature is constant, can we have heat going out? Can we? Yes, as long as the T here is higher than T0 outside, there can be heat transfer out, right? But the fact that we use the flat hexagon here is done under assumption that temperature in this sur surface here will be constant. So that means our shell supposed to have heat flux going out as well. This would be EX. You can say EX or ER, doesn't matter. Okay? So, if I want to write down equation for shear balance, you will have input minus output plus work by external force plus energy production equal to zero. Suppose I call the surface here would be S. In, how can we write input term? 